Hello, welcome back. We're gonna try Enquave now. I have no idea about the game, except for the screenshots I see appearing behind me here, and it looks like some kind of fantasy title. I don't know. Let's give it a go. First time setup, of course, because I've not played this thing before. This may take a while. Some of them just uh, hop in straight away, others take forever. This one seems to be taken forever. Okay. Wait, no. Is this Starbreeze? I think it's Starbreeze. It is Starbreeze. Wow. Okay. Uh, well. This is, a uh, Vin Diesel's old studio. Um... I say old studio because it, uh, went under. Let's, let's fix a bunch of this shit up. Because it's, uh... Wow, okay. Let's actually fix that goddamn standpoint. Goodbye music. You were loved, but not loved enough. Cause, cause this is Vin Diesel studio. I, yeah, this this is gonna be an RPG or something. We'll go for, yeah, we'll go for medium. I've always been going easy with these games. She's a campaign. Light campaign, dark campaign. Light campaign, dark campaign. Light campaign, dark campaign. You know what? We're gonna go for the uh, for the dark campaign. Well, apparently, we're not. Okay, maybe I have to uh, unlock it, it seems. Scripted within an ancient tome, which lies beneath centuries of dust in the guarded library of Mechalon, is the story of how the rift was formed. Though most cannot recall a time when the rift did not divide the enclave and the outlands. It's pronounced enclave. At one time, unified. At that time, there were lands where the very essence of magic was believed to dwell, for they were lush and prosperous. All who did not hold the secrets of the soil, which were protected by the Pact of Jifuro, coveted these lands fiercely. The great demon Vatar was among these envious creatures, for he believed that with the magic of these lands in his grasp, he would surely become invincible. And so, he led his army to attack the dwellers of the land, and lay claim to it for himself. The battle raged on and on, until at last, the mighty wizard Zael stood alone against Vatar to protect the lands. When all hope seemed lost, and Vatar's victory imminent, Zael struck the final, fatal blow. With a roar of anger and anguish, the wizard slammed his staff into the ground. The world trembled and then parted beneath Vatar's feet. A scream of outrage erupted from the demon's throat as he fell to his defeat. However, that's an outrage. Come without a price. The chasm that grew from this powerful blast of magic was too vast to be traversed, and the people were separated as much as the lands. Those who had come to aid their brothers in fighting against the demon's army returned to their home called Mechalon, with stunned minds and heavy hearts. The pact of Jifuro had been broken, and they had become separated from their brothers. The denizens of the Outlands, a dark and selfish people, became known as the Dreg Attar, and the enclave of Magic Land, which had been divided from the rest, formed a peaceful city called Selenheim. In time, all wounds are healed, for in the lengthy span since it was torn asunder, it seems that the magic inherent within the world has begun to knit the land back together. It's very nice of it. It grows smaller, and can even be crossed in certain locations. Though it should be a time of celebration and rejoicing, such as some grim-hooking motherfuckers. <laughs> of time, 
the greedy Dregatar still lust after the lands of magic. Aww. Raid after raid has been sent into the Enclave in hopes of weakening it for the major attack the Dregatar intend to wage as soon as they are able. Crops burned and possessions stolen. Selenheim has been thrown into a state of extreme unrest. Heavy taxes are levied upon the people to help pay for the city's defense. This has led to uprisings within the Enclave, and some of its inhabitants have landed in jail. So it looks like he's trying to eat his uh, bread before he gets dragged away. It is here that our story begins. A few rebellious grains of sand within the ever-turning hourglass of life. Island Dungeon. You have attempted to protect kinsmen in your village against tax collectors. Just being thrown into prison for these rebellious crimes against Selenheim, you awaken from unconsciousness in prison. You must find a way out of the cell, obtain a weapon, defeat the enemies, escape the dungeon. That guy just so, flick her in. Oh, girl. Their own too, I see. <laughs> the sound you are hearing is the sound of your death. The rolling thunder of my fellow outlanders. The sound of the Dregatar slaughtering your kind and scaling the walls of this puny fortress. They are coming to set me free. And if they don't get to you first, I will personally rip you apart. <laughs> You're free. Go. Whoa, okay. Um I'm sorry, you're gonna rip me rip me apart? What? What was that? Okay. Um, hmm. Whoop, can't read that. <gasps> whoop, 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 whoop. You are a very, very shiny boy. Can I crouch and attack? Yes, I can. Ankles will not be safe. Okay. That's pretty intricate animation there, but come on, there's got to be an easier way to do that. Oh, uh, well... Either orc blood is yellow, or this guy just violently pooped himself to death. He's also kind of tiny as well. I, I just stepped in it as well. Well, uh... Now, I know what you're thinking, game. Actually, wait. Does that mean there are secrets back here? Perhaps. Let's give it a go. I wish there was a sprint button. What have... This say in the sewers. You know what? I'm gonna agree. That's... Damn, so is you're scary. So, controls for this are kind of... Well, send a mess on keyboard, WASD. Ooh, hello. They're attacking us. That's pretty obvious. Look. I'm gonna need you to, uh. Whoop! You punk. I don't think either of us are, uh. gonna get a result. Yeah. No, you know, I was lying. I totally got a result! Ow, 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 fuck my head. Not the result I wanted, actually. That kind of sucked. Um, well then. So how do I use the torch? Uh, I've got a bug to report. <laughs> Apparently your light source can go through the wall. Oh, I got a lot of bugs to report, actually. <laughs> I think it was? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna look past the uh, the shitty lighting. 
which to be honest might actually be caused by me using a newer video card. Even still though, I think considering what's more than likely causing this glitch, it's probably something that would have happened for uh, people using video cards at the time of this. Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. No way. <laughs> He's basically placing the flaming torch to his head. He's so calm about it. Well, that's a dead end. Buddy, I don't know what they did to you in this dungeon, but if it's enough to basically make you feel okay with placing a burning torch to your head... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I'd really like that. I really want it, please. Okay, fine. Let's go up here. <gasps> I get it! I get gold! Um, I have nowhere to spend it though. This sucks. Okay, let's just get out. Slowly, our hero burns his face off. <gasps> I get my shield. That was a bit funny. Wait, no, no, come on, please. Just open up here. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Okay. That's the one I needed. Now, do you want to take a swipe at me, buddy? You're called a snotling. You don't look very happy. Whoa. Do you mind? Ow. Okay, let's just run. Ow. It fused with him. Now, why don't you two chill the fuck out, okay? Or three. <laughs> this, this has to be Starbreeze's first game. It really does. It's, it's the only explanation I have for this, because, I mean, people have played the other Starbreeze games, and they're actually quite good. The Chronicles of Riddick games are actually amazing. Okay, so a fair claim to make on this game would be that it's dated. I'd say that's a very fair claim to make. I'm already at a point where I have no idea what I'm doing. Although, I see gold. Let's get gold. Gold will fill in the time. All I need is gold. Maybe there's something I can do in here now? Nope, just more poop. Wow, that... It really did leak uh, quite far. What have they been feeding you in here, buddy? <laughs> Beans and gravy, it seems. My god. I, I think you'll like that well before this uh, goblin invasion happened. Gods are just like, I ain't cleaning that shit. Oh, yeah, so obviously I've missed something. Obviously. How's this? And we found that we couldn't actually get past this at all. Yeah, definitely can't get past it. Uh, movement controls for this are really weird, by the way. The uh, third-person camera is not a friendly thing. Oh, can I? Yes, I can. Fuck. That's dumb. Although apparently rolling my eyes at my own mistake would have saved me unless I'd actually just stopped walking back into this. What the fuck is that? Piece of shit. You threw dynamite at me. I can't even tell what the fuck I'm doing, okay? Okay, come on. Huh? Whoop. Just kind of hanging out up there. Okay. 
So for the out on the walls, it kind of looks like they just applied that basic um, crosshatch effect in Photoshop over a bunch of uh, screenshots of different worlds of the game, and different areas. All the same kind of frame as well. So the texture is pretty easy. All they have to do is just replace one small bit of it for each one. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to have a look at what year this came out and feel really bad for shitting on a game that might have actually been, like, really good for its time. But, uh, I, I can't help but notice this, okay? It's really just outside of my ca capabilities to not comment on that shit. Whoop, hello. Ah, uh, another brave warrior. Really? We should join forces. <laughs> okay. Replay map no. Let's just go to that next page, okay? To protect the outpost. Okay. Let's see what they've got. Sword. Okay. This is what they've got for us. Uh, congratulations, you have found a new item worth 50 gold. Sword. Weakest of the sword cl- uh, it simply performs its duty. Okay. Doesn't look too bad though, it's got like a gold hilt area and such. This is a very light shield. Yes it is. Wait, made entirely out of wood? What? Are those metal bits then? Okay, did they just paint the metal you look onto it? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess it has a campaign map. Uh, yeah, let's go on a mission too. After fighting your way up to the surface, you face a threat far worse than imprisonment. Outpost is under attack, and you are rallied to fight side by side with your captors against the invaders. I think I know where Skyrim might have gotten a few ideas, but we'll just leave that. Protect the outpost, defeat the outlanders, defeat Borge? Borge? Let's defeat Borge. This guy has an unchanging expression, he just looks straight ahead, eyes open, jaw slightly agape. Hey you! I could use your help here! The courtyard is crowded with enemies! How do you even see, lady? Are you just gonna follow me? Cause... that'd be useful. Oh, okay. This could be kind of interesting. I thought I shot him. Um. Oh, thank you. Okay, so for starters, um, pointing the cursor right at them doesn't seem to uh, actually get them. What am I doing? Why is it hanging on to commands? Where did that explosion come from? I am so confused. Let's just get some gold and move on, okay? Ah! Alright, I don't think I can actually do anything there. Oh, wait. Ow! What the fuck was that? Uh, maybe I... Have a look at this thing. Maybe this lets me... Ah, here we go. Yeah, that did it. Whoever's in there sounds like a really good time. Are you gonna blow this open? Huh? Yes you are. <sighs> I, you know, I'm gonna stop trying to use the uh, crossbow. You're much better at shooting things than I am. Whoa, what the fuck? Um, well... Ugh, you're all just terrible. I, I don't know what to make of you. Well, come on, stop dancing, let's just fight. 
Could you just... Let's just... You, you can just die, okay? That's what I'd prefer for you to do. Oh, gold! To actually find this game fun, you're gonna have to be really forgiving. Really forgiving. Um, you're gonna have to... Really, um... It'd be okay with data controls. I'm not entirely certain if uh, you're gonna find this fun unless you um, played it back when it came out and you have a bit of nostalgia uh, tint to this. Otherwise, it's just not got much going for it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Back back when it was released, yet again, I'm gonna have to find out when this was released because uh, Starbreeze was still around for one. Um, it looks. Like it was released well before um, the uh, Riddick games were. So I'm, I'm really glad they got their act together, whatever they did. It's, uh, it's just too old for a newcomer, I'm afraid. <laughs> Although, I mean, there are points like that which are brilliant. Where, where did he even fall from, okay? <laughs> oh! You can stop that, thank you. So the biggest challenge of the game so far is to uh, move the mouse around without it flipping out. So anyway, maybe there's going to be something cool at the tower here and the cutscene kind of um... Oh goody. Do you know how hard it is to make ladders back in these days? I'm pretty certain someone got a splinter for making that ladder and died. You know what? I'm done. That's it. That's uh really about as far as I want to go here. There we go. That's the one. Yep. I'm not going to incriminate anyone, so let's just move on from that, okay? I really just want to leave the game, okay? They've made that pretty difficult. The controls are bad, and we'd have to find out whether that is actually a... Whether it's just like a bad PC port or something like that, which did it. Uh, knowing Starbreeze, I think they typically made stuff for, um, for the PC anyway. Although I could be wrong about that. Starbury Studios. Okay, here we go. So 2002 was when this game came out, by the way. So for a game made 14 years ago, I I can't I can't shit on it that much. Okay, it's it's just a really old game. At the time, it might have been amazing, and by the looks of it here as well, it was made for the original Xbox as well. So that's. Yeah, I mean, although actually, yeah, they, they released it originally on Xbox back in 2002, and for Windows about a year later, and they released it for the Wii in 2012. Those poor Wii owners who got that. Um, and it, it was only in the PAL region as well. Fuck you, we don't want this shit. Okay. So, let's, let's see how the reception for it was. Um... 75% for the PC, 70% for the Xbox version. Okay, that, that was at the time that it came out. Yeah, it, it's just an old game. Making kind of a lot of my complaints, uh, well, uh, a, a bit mute. Because obviously Starbreeze fixed up. They, they got a hell of a lot better with their um, with the technical side. Because the Riddick games were actually quite good. The uh, gameplay was... Um, Mostly fluid as well, design of course got a lot better, and because they needed to bring Vin Diesel to life with the games, they've obviously fixed up um, how well the characters play as well. Because the main character in this game uh, was not really, um, not really alive. In fact, it kind of looked like they'd laminated his face, frozen in that pose, and that's what he was um, destined to uh, to look like. We're gonna just say that Starbreeze got a lot better as time went on. 
Anyway, how much are they charging for this game these days? Let's find out. I'm a little bit frightened to see, but let's let's have a look at it. Five dollars US. Now, they're going on the nostalgia bandwagon, so I can see exactly why they're um why they're looking to do that. Um but ultimately considering it doesn't seem to be like a really like a, a, a cult classic, at least from, from my understanding of it. I don't see why they're um why they're looking to grab five dollars off someone for a game that doesn't really hold up to the test of time, even if you can bump the resolution up to 1920 by 1080. Uh, that seems to be like the only thing they've done to really uh, make it a quote unquote HD version. Uh, they haven't really updated the look of the menus or anything like that, so yeah, I don't think it's worth five bucks. I don't even really think it's worth um, less than that either. Kind of like with Sick Brick, you couldn't you couldn't make me pay for this game. Like there there are plenty of old games from around the same time which have come out for free since, which uh, honestly, well, better. Uh, they don't have the same they don't hit the same kind of a uh, niche, but they would have had a similar sort of budget and would have made uh, I'd assume just as much of an impact if not more. I mean, Tribes 2, for example, um, for starters, uh, ha looks, in terms of uh, the level of graphics, uh, looks just a bit better than this. Plays a lot better, to be honest, as well, but then again, that may just be because it's a first-person shooter, and of course, they have to focus more on the gameplay there. And that that was made uh, free a while ago now, years ago. So I, I, I don't think I can completely justify them uh, trying to get money out of this. Especially when it looks like it's just a random publisher has picked up the uh, the rights for the game, the publishing rights, and they're just looking to uh, make a bit of money off this. To conclude, bad graphics, uh, bad gameplay, it doesn't really have a good story either, but because of the time it came out, maybe you should just be aware of that. It's an old game. Be aware that it's an old game and things were just different back then and it would have um, would have deserved its 70% rating back when it came out. Should you get it now though? My personal opinion is no, but if you have a bit of a nostalgia uh, itch to scratch regarding this game specifically, then you may find that it's worth it. Anyway, if you feel like I've given this game a bad rap and I just don't know what I'm talking about, let me know. Um, Please feel free to point out stuff that I may have missed here. I mean, honestly, there might be something that I'm just not taking into account here. Just made me write this game off when maybe I shouldn't have. So, let me know. If you like the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, of course, leave a dislike. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, or even just some Let's Play stuff that I do on the side, uh, subscribe. You might find something that you like. Uh, if there's any games that uh, you think I might get a kick out of, and would perhaps enjoy going in with no prior knowledge of them let me know i'll see what i can do for you Alrighty, if you made it this far thank you so much for watching bye